Welcome back, friends. It's a Dune Buggy Kind of Friday. Check out what we got. We've been working long and hard on this. Manx on the Chesapeake is uh, running around the area right now. It's the manxclub.com, their mid-Atlantic event. And we've been working really hard because I want to get this over the show and shine tomorrow in Haver de Grace, Maryland, um, over at the Conical Point Lighthouse. Let me walk you through what we've been working on. And I apologize since the vinyl video dropped. You know, I dropped that one a little late, but I've been cranking on this thing and I just haven't had time to turn the camera on. I hope you understand. We got that front bumper remounted back on to the air-cooled front beam. It looks really good up there. Um, the boy helped me bleed the brakes, but we got the front seats mounted and installed. They're really nice. They're tilt and slide. I put a carpet kit in it. It's not perfect, but hey, it works. It looks halfway decent. I gotta figure out how to manage the back a little bit. That's my Jeep TJ rear seat that will eventually, I will pull that cover off, probably bleach the hell out of it, and then dye it to match those front seats. And that's all part of the little future. I'm not sure how the carpet, I'm gonna get that to fit just right. I might have to order a bulk roll, uh, bit of that carpet and have some stuff custom edged so that it'll fit on there. Gone through and put this together the other night. Here's a quick clip of me doing that welding. Now, yeah, pardon the shot of my butt right there in the beginning, but you get what you get. Well, what you might notice is the engine's not in there at the moment. I had to take it out because I couldn't get the clutch to engage and when I pulled the engine out I realized I had mismatched uh, the throw out bearing and um, pressure plate and I broke the pressure plate. So a new one's due in today from FedEx. Hopefully you can get that installed. But I think all in all it's in really good shape. Guys we've been busting butt on this. October 15th last year is when we towed it home. Freed it from its backyard home that had been in for over God, had it been over 20 years, this body and chassis have never been uh, permanently bolted together. It hasn't had an engine in it in at least that long. So, I don't know what to tell you. I'm excited. Lights all work. Let me, let me see if I can fire up some stuff for you guys. So, I don't have all the problems solved right yet. The Speedo is just kind of sitting in the dashboard, so it lifts out a little bit. I got to tighten that up. But I have my switches underneath the dash right now. There's my master. I can turn the coil on and off. I disconnected the fuel pump that I put together because I don't need that right now. So let's turn on the headlights. I did also hook up a, a voltmeter so I can keep an eye on my power. Um, it's pretty handy, just a little, it's a cigarette lighter style. Um, it has a, two USB ports in it so I can use it if I need to charge my phone, but it helps me keep an eye on things. Let's turn that off. Let's go look at those headlights, guys. I know it's daylight, but you can kind of see them on. It's got a nice halo to them, nice light. Let's uh, turn on turn signal, show you guys what that looks like on these guys. There we go. Here's a turn signal blinking. And remember I mounted this guy in the fender. Uh, it's it's plenty bright. It'll give you a good visibility. At night it's really, really bright. I, it just like, it lights up the whole garage. Um, but it gives me good visibility and makes me a little more street legal. Well, that's it for now. Guys, like I said, Manx on the Chest Peaks tomorrow. I'm gonna add some more content. You'll see that in next week's video. Uh, sorry this one's short, but it's kind of a wrap up of everything we did. I just wanted to let you guys see what, where we are. Sorry I didn't join, have you join in for all of it, but it, I really had to crank and get a lot of it done. Um, and stopping to take videos is hard, but uh, you're still there, you're, you guys are with me. Like, comment, subscribe, come out to all your lo local shows, uh, enjoy it and uh, support your hobby. Get out there and wrench on something, guys. This was a pile just a year ago. So, all right guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.